in the cafe. He sits alone in a landscape of espresso and wooden chairs. The world is a rag behind him, the afternoon heat, a mangy dog at the door. He balances a pencil on his right index finger and flips through the pages of blood, empty sex, and sweet male bodies in order to feel the necessary light that will give him the energy to bring his hysterical solitude forward. <laughs> East Hollywood. It's a con mi amigo Bukowski. The wind blew down from the Hollywood Hills as if it didn't know the glory of filmmaking or the tragic eye of those who never made it despite having tried. It was a vanity to be there amid geranium lives, trying to ignore the heat and to survive on six-packs over long evenings that curved along broken sidewalks. We'd race to the liquor store for cigars. We'd stumble onto the streets at 4 a.m., singing songs we knew from childhood, his from the Depression, mine from the 50s. They coaxed us forward like pioneers. The territories we found sheltered waitresses and out-of-luck roofers sitting in pre-dawn cafes over coffee and cream. Revolutionary leaders and spiritual masters crowded the counters, ordering bacon and eggs, jostling for attention from movie stars who never came. We spoke of immense desire, our arms gesticulating the grand sweep of armies flooding ordinary life until the sun rose like an angel at the casting door, hoping this time for the call. 